Hey, what's up guys? It's Nathan here and welcome to another why I use Studio One video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the time stretching benefits of Studio One. Now, having been an Ableton user, I felt pretty limited with what their kind of time stretching allowed. And when I talk about time stretching, I mean like, let's say you have like this instrument right here and it's it's playing too slow you want to find out what it would sound like if it were playing doubly as fast so let's listen to it right now and we'll we'll show you what we're talking about pretty cool you know but when it comes to getting in flow and creating ideas, it's really nice to be able to do things very fast. So what if I want to hear this in like double the time, which basically means twice as fast? I would go to the right edge of, uh, of our sound and I would just hold Alt. Now make sure that the arrow on the left side of that line is dark and then on the right side of it, it's light and then hold Alt. Yeah, hold Alt. And you'll see that a little kind of like clock comes up and then you just drag it. And now you have the sample playing twice as fast. So let's listen now. So things like that for me are really useful for creating melodies or motives or just textures. Because if you went really fast, you could create a really cool texture. You do something like that and then... Like, I mean, you get the idea. You could do something like that, but for that sound, it doesn't work so well. Um, and it's so useful because I know that in Ableton, to do that same effect, you'd have to go in here and you'd have to select the samples and then like an arrow would pop up and then you'd stretch them. And it would only do it relative in length if if the, the, the MIDI samples were like that long. Um, actually, it's kind of pointless to explain, but if you're familiar with Ableton, you know that it's kind of weird the way it does it. And you could only adjust the timing of the section that you're working on by going in and selecting the individual MIDI notes. But in Studio One, you can literally do it in the piano roll as well. You just go up to the top right corner, make that, uh, that kind of line, line with the arrows come up again, hold Alt, and then just drag. And you can do it literally from the piano roll. So it's super beneficial to have it like that. And uh, we'll just go and put it back to normal. And you can do this with audio as well. If we find like an audio sample. Uh, do I have any audio samples here? Um, you can do it. You can just click on the right side of the sample. Actually, we'll just we'll use one of the features I like. We'll bounce this audio to a track. So we have our audio there. Pretty cool. We bounced it. Let's speed it up. So it's really cool. Like you could do something like reverse the audio and then you could listen to it, which always sounds really cool on guitars and reverse sound great. That's just a fact. Um, and then you could shorten it in time. <gasps> Whoa, did we just do that? I'll probably leave that because that sounds really cool. But I have a video that will tell me I can do this later on. So, I mean, it's just so cool to be able to do that. And then, you know, you could cut these samples up and then you could shorten that one even more if you wanted because you needed something like that and then like duplicate it and then like re-reverse it and then you get something weird just the sample manipulation possibilities are endless the sky's the limit it's amazing i love this that's why i just i love how fast it is i can just play around with an idea so quick and um being able to change the length of stuff like that is so so beneficial to me and um yeah i mean that's gonna be a quick tutorial so if you guys have any questions or comments you know where to leave them and uh, if you like this video please let me know what you guys think about it and um yeah, we'll just get on to another one.